Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee at blueheronarts.com. As you can see here, it's a class handout. Um, the original painting I did in um, 19, oh, uh, 1994. Um, I just signed it today as uh, 1924, so it's 30 years ago. Um, the subject matter is uh, winter sweets. Um, it's a blooming bush uh, in the winter with a, a winter bird. So I will entitle it uh, Winter Bird um, with a, uh, we call it wax plum. Wax plum is the color of the, uh, it's named after the color of this uh, winter sweet in Chinese, wax plum. Or, La Mei Hua, uh, Dong Liao, La Mei, Winter Birds, Waxy Plum. Um, I'm going to mount it and uh, I show my class uh, lesson two in my winter 2024 uh, will be on winter suite. Uh, if you haven't signed up, please check the link. Uh, you can either join as a live uh, Zoom participants, we have a few seats left. Um, and uh, if you don't have time on Thursdays, you can you can uh, sign up for a record only student. So you get a copy of the class material and the video recording link after the class and you can submit the work uh, by email to get my uh, personalized critique. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm doing is the uh, silicone mounting paper or, or adhesive film uh, attached to the backing support. Uh, I know there's an issue with this uh, size, I think. Okay, you can see there's a tiny uh, this side is okay, but I happen to have this left over from another project. So uh, here's the tip for you. If you need to patch two pieces of silicone, it's how, this is how easy it is. You simply uh, make another piece overlap with the first one and just make sure the size is correct. Okay, so it will cover the missing part easily. Just like that. Just align the top and iron. Let me give a little bit extra. So, and just iron like that. So I have a complete coverage of the silicone adhesive film on the backing paper. See, I lift the release paper, I leave a uh, layer of silicone on, on that. That's my adhesive. And now I'm going to, oops, oh, this is sticky. When it's hot, it's very sticky, but when it's cool, it's, just let it cool down a bit before you uh, put your original arts on. That's another tip. And look at the, the, the this old painting. It's on Japanese rice paper. It got to very common in this uh, kind of waves, uh, buckering uh, waves. So I need a, a little bit of moisture to relax that. I, although I can risk to, you know, to do it completely without moisture. But since the paper is so fragile after 30 years, I think we better um, use a little moisture to relax it. Okay. I just use a water sprayer with some water and I spray outside the working surface. Outside the outside the table, okay. This is very important. You don't want to have any 
water drops on this uh, on this uh, surface. It's a dry mounting only. Because if you have any moisture on the back of this backing paper, it will start to making waves. Okay. I'm going to, so now the wrinkle is relaxed. You can, um, what you do is sometimes I iron the, the painting first with this, a little bit of moisture to remove the wrinkle. Um, you can use this uh, release paper on top of that to protect the, the color, just like that. And uh, just dry a little bit, leave a little moisture. So this will remove most of that uh, wrinkle. And you, if uh, uh, you like, you can spray just a little bit mist again to relax that. So uh, just flatten the original with the uh, iron and then put a little more moisture to evenly on the paper. Not particularly area, just uh, just like an iron a shirt. To give a little moisture will be good, but no moisture on the on the uh, fabric. Okay, um, you can use this release paper, or best uh, I found this uh, uh, parchment paper for you know from the backing. Uh, for ba for backing the ba parchment paper, it's a it's a silicone, also uh, very convenient because it's anti-sticking and it's see-through. You can see clearly if it's uh, lined. Okay, and then just go from the center. Before you move, just do some uh, uh, some circular movement to fix the center. And then going outside, out, outward, without lifting the iron. It's set on, oops, I think I set too high. The temperature should be on silk. I set on on linen, linen, linen. It's too hot. Yeah, that's, that could create a serious problem because you set the paper too qu quick before it gets a chance to spread. And that's another potential problem. If you set the temperature too low, it just takes longer time to, to iron, but that's preferable than set the temperature too high. That gives you no time. But uh, I think we are okay, just a little bit uh, a crease there. What you do is to spray some more water in the area with the wrinkle, and hopefully it will flat more. Japanese paper is the most difficult paper to mount, because it's thin and fragile. Okay, and uh, just press. You can have to hold this with your other hand. And whenever you spray, you have to iron it completely, let it dry completely. And if the wrinkle goes this direction, uh, you, you do this to spray it out, to pull it left and right, if the wrinkle is vertical. Okay, I think it's fine for my purpose. Um, I'm not a perfectionist. Some, sometimes the wrinkle just create uh, some more uh, energy and indicate the delicacy of the original uh, canvas. Uh, or, uh, fragile rice paper um, and uh, people will more, you know, appreciate more this kind of art with a little bit uh, texture 
um, to indicate the material. So it doesn't look like computer paper anymore. Um, look at that. So this is a 30 year piece. I'm uh, not sure if I could do better, but it would be different because I, I have since studied many other artists uh, like Bada Shan uh, and the Qi Bai Shi. The, the, this style is based on my own teacher in Nanjing. His name is Zhang Zhenying. And he was a student of uh, Master Zhang Shuqi. Uh, last week, I saw a newly released documentary uh, made in uh, 1944 uh, on Zhang Shuqi's uh, uh, fast, quick brush strokes, uh, painting birds and flowers. I will put a link there. If you're interested in learning this particular style, I will uh, I will do more in my uh, future class. Um, as much as I know uh, about Zhang Shuqi and uh, his uh, my own student, uh, my my own teacher Zhang Zhenying, who is uh, a undergraduate student in Central uh, National Central University in the wartime capital Chongqing, when Professor Zhang Shuqi was uh, there t um, in the art school, and he went, he came to states after the war as a cultural ambassador and uh, uh, stayed here after the 1949. Um, he died uh, in 1957 in San Francisco. And he published a book called uh, Painting in the Chinese Manner. And you can get a uh, used book on Amazon or uh, eBay. Uh, you, you can also find uh, many prints he um, made. Uh, like the green cards and little painting or uh, on eBay. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this uh, painting um, and uh, look, for look forward to seeing you in my class, either live or by recording. I'll put a link there. So there are uh, 10 classes to go. This is lesson two. Lesson one, we did the uh, fighting chicks after Chi Bai Shi. Bye bye, happy painting.